Hey, what is going on everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario, and we're back over here at the PS3 because I want to showcase a little feature that I thought was pretty cool added into one of the more recent builds of PS3 Hen, which this in short allows you to bring back PS3 Hen from the dead, so to speak, if you end up formatting or wiping your system. Now this feature specifically has been added into PS3 Hen starting on version 3.4.0, so if you're on an older version of PS3 Hen and you'd like to make use of this, you will have to update your PS3 HIN installation, which thankfully is pretty easy to do. So that means with PS3 HIN 3.4.0 and above, we now have this new feature here in which it states added HIN restore functionality for new package that supports HIN surviving a hard drive reformat. And Luan Tellius was given thanks and props for this here. Now this system here I've been using for testing, so it really doesn't have that much on it. It just has Multiman and Webman on here, so we can go ahead and enable HIN. But typically, if you are running PS3 HIN and you reformat your hard drive, you have to go through the process of reinstalling PS3 HIN, which thankfully, again, isn't all too bad because it doesn't wipe out your firmware. However, we can now look at this feature here, which allows us to reinstall PS3 HIN pretty easily, really with no effort at this point, without even really needing to open up the web browser here, which is great. So for this, well, let's go ahead and format this system. Now, if you are following along with this here, first of all, I wouldn't necessarily recommend following along with this directly unless you are looking to format your system and you want to start fresh. Because do keep in mind, with the steps I'm following here, it is going to erase our data on here. So if you have any games, applications that you care about, and you follow along with this and they get wiped out, well, you've been warned at this point. So for this here, I'm just going to navigate over to my settings. We can go to system settings. And I've tried both on this. Now, I have done the format utility, but funny enough, I've even done restore default settings, and I've noticed that using either the format utility or restore default settings, as long as the drive is the same, because I did not change out the hard drive, this functionality was still there. Let's go ahead and just do a format, though. So we can go into format utility, format system storage. Yes, we are going to format this, and we're going to do a quick format. We could say yes, and now we just need to wait a few moments. So you can see here, it's kind of wiping out the little changes I made. It's going to format the internal hard drive and let's wait a bit. And here we go, after a few seconds, we get format completed, press X to restart the system, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. Now you'll notice when you restart the system, on boot up, you're still going to get the PS3 HIN cold boot animation. So again, that does confirm to us that this functionality is going to be there, but it also confirms that HFW is still installed on the system, which makes sense because I didn't do anything for the custom firmware itself. But you can see here, as I was talking, right in front of us, we have a new functionality here called install HIN, and we we have a logo that you've probably never seen before here. Now I've hooked up my controller and you can see here that I don't have anything fun on here like if I go to the save data utility, there's nothing on there, nothing here, no memory cards, uh, game data, nothing, PS Vita, absolutely nothing on here. However, we still do have some hints of PS3 HIN on here, not only from the cold boot, but we have the install HIN functionality, and if we go over to the network column, we do have PS3 exploit home right here. Now, in order to reinstall PS3 HIN, it's going to be this simple. First of all, your system has to be connected to the internet. Mine is connected using an ethernet cable. And secondly, well, well, that's it. All you have to do is hook up your controller and now hit install HIN. And that's exactly what I'm doing. So it's going to go through this process that looks like it's just activating HIN as normal. We can see here, latest HIN 3.4.0 is available, and it's now downloading the default package. So we can wait a few seconds for this. It downloads, let's go ahead, hit circle to go back. And it's now going to automatically install this. And if I remember right at the end here, it should give us a prompt saying it's automatically going to reboot. So let's just see what happens. There we go, install completed, and installation complete, prepare for reboot. So I'm not touching anything, let's go ahead and let the system reboot. And there we go, it rebooted, 
And there we go, the system has rebooted, and now instead of install hen, we have the oh so familiar egg with the enable hen option on here. So that was all there is to it. As you can see, I was able to format the system, I end up getting rid of any of my data on here, and I have plugged in a USB drive because if you're wanting to do this, for example, once you have that formatted, this is pretty similar now to custom firmware, where even if you format the hard drive, you still have custom firmware on here. There's only one added step, which is you just have to reinstall hen, but they've made it super simple to do because it's just right here on the XMB. So in order to continue on, we just have to enable HIN as we normally do. And then once it's enabled, we're back into a modded state within a few minutes here. It would have taken a lot less time, but you all know I like to do some show and tell. So we can go to package manager, install package files, and from there we can reinstall whatever we're wanting to on here. I'll go ahead and reinstall Webman, and of course I'll install Multiman, but that's really all there is to it for this feature here. So there we go, hopefully you enjoyed watching this, hopefully it helped out, hopefully you learned something, and you might even have more of a reason to upgrade to the latest PS3 HIN release. Because just in case you end up having to format your hard drive or do something else, you could see here that it's now incredibly painless to go through the process of reinstalling PS3 HIN. So a big thank you and shout out goes out to the PS3 exploit team for continuing to maintain PS3 3 hen and continuing to add new features to it, which continue to make it an even more awesome solution for quite literally any PS3 out there. Anyways, with my homebrew reinstalled, I'd say we're at a pretty good spot in this video here, but that's about it for this video. Again, if you enjoyed watching this, a like would absolutely be appreciated. If you didn't like it, a dislike is fine as well too, but as I always say, this is Mr. Mario, signing off. Thank you all for watching, everyone.